Hello and welcome to another episode of JS Adventures. <laughs> <laughs> Where we are, we're not packed up and leaving finished work. We've got the weekend off, so we thought what better way to spend the weekend than get out of here. Yeah, hook the caravan up, get on out of here and go a little look around, I guess. Head up towards the Nindagully pub. We hear they've got some absolute cracking burgers, monster burgers, mm. monster prices as well. Um, and also head into Gunda Windy. Gunda Windy. Gunda Windy. Gunda Windy. I think it is. Gunda Windy. That's the one. We're going to head in there. We are going to try and knock off two birds with one stone. We're going to. We need to do some shopping for the next couple of weeks. So we're going to race up to Nindagully, uh, dump the caravan because it does get pretty busy after lunch, from what we hear. Yeah. Um, being the weekend as well, we want to try and get there around lunchtime, drop the caravan off, and then head into Gundawindi and do a bit of shopping and then make our way back out to the pub for dinner. That's it. That's it. Go from there. But I guess first stop is going to be fuel and a coffee. coffee. We haven't had a coffee in a while, a barista made coffee, so. In about two weeks. <laughs> Not that I'm counting. Let's get on with that. But uh, other news, work's going bloody great. We're smashing through it, yeah. doing some big hours. Ploughing through. Yeah, ploughing through. <laughs> and it's uh, yeah, it's been going really well. So we're saving a lot of money, which is great news. But anyway, let's get on with this episode yeah. and get some fuel. Waste a fair bit of money on fuel and get a nice cuppa. Sounds good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh no, first stop, diesel. 184.9. It is um, slowly dropping the prices, which is a good sign. Hopefully by the time we finish work here, they've dropped even more, but can't complain with that. 184.9 out in the middle of nowhere. And last stop, your favourite stop. Coffee. Little coffee shop, the local coffee shop, Flock, which makes a damn good coffee. So if you're ever in Mungandai, uh, check out Flock. It's a bit expensive, but pretty damn good coffee. Let's do that and get on out of here. We deserve it. Yep, first in a while. Let's flock to the coffee shop. That's why they called it it. I read up on Facebook. Because right. everyone flocks to the coffee shop. Oh, that's pretty cool. Is that why there's birds under the thing then? Yeah. The whole community gets together for a coffee, don't they? Yeah. Coffee up from flock and what have we got? An hour. About an hour drive to Nindagully, so there is a couple of things that we want to see along the way, but I think we'll save that for tomorrow or the next episode where we're heading back home, well, back to back to work, realistically. But let's get on the road, get on out of here, out of Mungandai, and head towards Nindagully. I keep forgetting it. You forget everything. You'd forget your head if it wasn't screwed on. Radio, we have made it to Nindagully. We've got Nindagully pub just up the top there and a load of caravans here in a free camp. And we just after, got here just after lunch and I think we've got the, probably the last spot, but there's another spot just up there, which isn't too level, is it? So I think we've got one of the last spots right on the river here, but how cool is this for a free camp? Pretty cool. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Loads of tables, loads of little fireplaces around as well. We didn't bring any firewood, um, which is a bit of a bugger. Probably should have thought about that. Toilets, hot showers, I believe, as well. Yeah. A dollar 
uh, donation to Royal Flying Doctor for the hot showers, so we'll probably use them. I will. I don't know about you. I just love my um, shower in there, not gonna <laughs> lie. But anyway, we're running a little bit late, so we're gonna drop the caravan, get it all level, set it up. Probably put the little diesel heater on. Leave yeah, that on. Because by the time we get back, it'll be cold. It's yep. already cold now. Yep. And then head off to Gundawindi, do a bit of shopping, go from there. Do you reckon it's windy? In Gundawindi? Is that why it's windy? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's just a question. Do you reckon it is? No. Maybe. It was windy yesterday. Anyway, let's get this off the back of the car, get into it, get out of here so we can get back here. I've totally just ruined your train of thought, haven't I? Yeah, you have. You. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's do this so we can get back here and have a beer. Music already. <laughs> it's already going off for lunch over there. But anyway, we are set up, aren't we? We're all set up, ready to go to Gundawindi. That's the one, do our shopping, but this is our little spot for the night. Right near the river there. And one thing we do want to do before we go is... You're going to chuck the crab pot in. You're going to chuck the crab pot in. Oh, am I? Yep, and hopefully uh, by the time we get back, even tomorrow morning we've got some, some little yabbies, so we'll see how we go there. We are back in Queensland, so we are allowed to use these little opera house nets in specific places. So let's go chuck it in, eh? Find a nice little spot. Hopefully get some nice sized yabbies. Let's do it, eh? Get on out of here. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we come back and there's some nice sized yabbies in there. $200. Under two hundred? Yeah. What do we got the total? One nine two eighty five. Beautiful. Right, I that is gonna do us here in Gundawindi. Quick little look, but we will be back um, at another time. No idea when. But anyway, let's get on out of here, head back towards Nindagali pub. Right. On. Jam all this in there somehow. <laughs> Alrighty. Mm. Quarter past five. Let me guess what you're gonna say. Time for a beer. Time for a beer. <laughs> but we made so predictable. Pretty good time. But it is the sun has gone down. So um we're gonna load all this shopping into the caravan and I think head over to the the pub for dinner. Yeah. Something like that. There's already a load of people there. It looks like a full house tonight. Uh caravans going everywhere. Roof toppers, swags, all that sort of gear. So, should be a good night.
We've got to check the little crab pot, don't we? Yeah. Yep. See if we got anything. Hopefully we did. Oh, it's cold. It's cold already too. So you got this under control? All yeah. the shopping? Can you help me? I gotta go check the um Gabby pot. Yeah, <laughs> How good is that? And fish jumping out there. No idea what sort of fish are in here, but there's plenty jumping. So nothing in the little yabby pot, uh, which isn't really surprising. I've got a sausage in there, um, not too fatty or anything. So I guess we'll check that again in the morning. Hopefully something will be in there, but we'll see what happens. But how beautiful is this? A peaceful, beautiful night. How'd you go? No, no yabbies. Oh dear. Yeah, hopefully tomorrow morning. It's nice and warm in here. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> Little diesel heaters finally putting in some work. It's um, beautiful and toasty in here. Are you almost done? Yeah. I'll give you a hand now if you want. Uh, yeah, you can put these in the um, fridge, fridge up there for me. Roger that. Um, and I'm sure I can get you to do some other stuff. <laughs> Hear live music. Mm. <laughs> I think they have it every Saturday. Every Saturday, live music. And apparently, this is the oldest, Queensland's oldest pub, is it? Yeah, 1864. 1864, Maybe. yeah. Have to confirm that. Yeah, we're pretty sure we've seen a sign saying that. Pizza. Pizza on its way. <laughs> Beautiful. This is it, Ninda Gully pub. <laughs> Couldn't do it, could we? The road train burger is $100, the famous road train burger. Um, they also do another one, don't they? $400. Road Big train. Mac, yeah. Big Mac road yeah, train burger. 25 kilos of meat. Feeds a bus, apparently. But we couldn't do it. We um, just got something nice and small. <laughs> Still quite big. <laughs> and a lot cheaper. But, um, which is us. Can do it.
morning. Morning. What do you got there? Um, you bought pancakes yesterday. Says so nine people. <laughs> Could have easily done it with flour, but um, what was it a dollar, dollar twenty, something like that for the pancake mix? Mm. So that is going to be for breakfast. But how is he sleep? Yeah, it's really well actually. Pretty good. Diesel, apart from diesel heater kept okay, clicking. Yeah, apart from the diesel heater, uh, it does tick through the night, which. I guess I gotta look into that a bit more, but um, we'll get to that, I guess, next time we use it. But a beautiful night's sleep, yeah? <laughs> and a big old sleeping, wasn't it? At least I can sleep. Half past nine sleeping. Um, what's on for today? I guess pancakes. I'll go over and get a cup of coffee for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll have a quick look around here. There is a lot to see along here. There's a beautiful walking path along here, along the river. Loads of different signs. We'll go for a walk along here and see what we can see along here. There is a load of different signs along here. Different little information, bits and pieces, and I believe they filmed a movie here. Film? Paperback <laughs> Hero? Paperback Hero, something like that, I believe it is. But there is a lot of memorabilia down the other end there. Um, and we did see it in the pub last night, so we'll go check that out. But what do you want me to do? <laughs> I want you to shake vigorously for one to two minutes. Oh, I gotta go get these cup of, cup of <laughs> coffees. I'll be back. So it was a pretty packed house last night and it's definitely cleared out very quickly this morning. Going from probably oh, 40, 50 odd vans to probably less than 10 now. Which, I'm not sure if that was just the weekend or not, but yeah, it was bloody busy. Really busy day. Busy night. So another little thing is the money on the ceiling is sort of an interesting little thing, but it's for the Royal Flying Doctor service. Um, you can grab a 50 cent piece and a thumbtack uh, from behind the bar and you can throw it up onto the ceiling. It's all collected at the end of the year for the, I think it's the pig races, the Nindigully pig races and all donated to the Royal Flying Doctor service. So a really cool little system they've got going on in there. Just a really cool little pub that one. Right, we've got to check our little yabby pot, which I haven't really got high hopes for. There's not a lot of structure around here for yabbies. Um, it was sort of a, a last minute chuck in, see what, see what happens, hope for the best. Absolutely nothing. And they've eaten the sausage, so... Oh well, spewing. It's worth a shot.
So, Nindigali Pub is already going off. It's, what is it, midday now? Yeah. <laughs> we spent a whole morning here just relaxing, having pancakes, watching the water, and yeah, just relaxing. But we are gonna end this video here. We're gonna go for a quick walk along the front here. Check out what they've got. They have got some information here. They have got a bit more information there on the film, which is? Paperback Hero. Paperback Hero, that's the one. So we'll check that out. And that's going to do us here in Nindagali. Oh, look, the elusive yabbies. Really cool ones, man. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but a load of information, and oh, that'd be cool to catch as well. Oh, that's that water right that you're talking about. <laughs> the Rakali. Anyway, a load of information on what you can catch, what sort of animals are here, what sort of trees are here. And some more animals. And the bird life. We have noticed a lot of... Uh, what are they called? Bird watchers. Twitches? Is that what they're called? Yeah. Yep. A load of twitches knocking about, taking beautiful photos as well. It's a nice little spot, loads of information. Keep on moving, eh? So loads of different signs as well, all along here, showing information on not just the pub, but also the little village that was here. Still are some sort of remnants of a village. There's a couple of buildings over there, a couple of buildings behind the pub. And a couple of buildings just over there. So plenty of information and a beautiful walk along the, the river here, the Mooney River. Have you seen it? Have you? No, I haven't seen it. Paperback Hero. It's um Apparently it's got Hugh Jackman in it. Which would have been bloody cool. See Hugh Jackman out here. So this must be where the cafe was, isn't it? Yeah, I believe so. The Boomerang Cafe at Nindagully. Rightio. What do you reckon? Let's get out of here, eh? Finish up. Road. A beautiful little spot, this one. Ninda Gully. Perfect free camp. Showers, hot showers, toilets. Pub. Yeah, pub with a beautiful feed. And you can't really go wrong with the campsites here. Right against the river, loads of fireplaces, tables. Top little spot. But anyway, that is going to do us for this episode. Um, Ninda Gully. It's done. We've ticked it off. Top little spot. And I guess we'll see you on the next one where we're probably going to be racing back to Mungandai. Mungandai. Yeah. Um, stopping in, in at Thallon, I believe it is. Thallon or Talon. And seeing some silo art and there are some ruins as well. But that's going to be the next episode. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Definitely get out to the Nindagali pub. It's bloody going off already. They seem to have live music. Well, it might just be Saturday and Sunday. Cause yeah. I don't know what the weekdays are like, but yeah. Weekend. Weekend. Bloody top notch. They've got live music from lunchtime on. But that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye. Do my hair? Yeah. To. Nindigali. Nindigali. And. I think there is a weir down the other end. Am I right in saying that? Oh, a bit lumpy. <laughs>